G'day guys, Robert from Outback Equipment. Special video today for you guys, installing a brand new Five Oceans Marine 4 bow Bimini to our Quintrex 440 side console Renegade. Run through its paces, go through all the key features. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so I'm packaging this one. Straight away we've got our Bimini top canvas there. We've got our main support poles here. And everything out of the box. I'll run you quickly through what's in the kit. In that canvas bag too, you'll find your instructions there to give you obviously a bit of a guide, but uh, we'll get this all out, start fitting it to the tinny. To quickly run you through your fitting kit, we've got a Phillips head screwdriver, which is awesome. Our main fixture mounts, which will be mounted to the tinny. So you've got a total of four of those. Also thumb screws. So these are gonna replace your old existing Phillips head screwdriver. So this kit being quick and easy to install, but obviously to remove off the tinny when it's not in use. But you've got some screws there for what we call your saddles. So they're your saddle guys. These are for your two straps which will be mounted at the front of the boat and your stainless steel screws there as well. So everything guys you need there to install your Bimini top. All right guys, running you through tools required for the install of your Bimini top today. We're needing quarter steel drill, a couple of drill bits there, tape measure obviously where we want to mark it out and a permanent marker. Measure it all up first and then we'll start putting and fitting in our mounts. That's pretty much it guys. This is a pretty straightforward install. So grabbing your canvas bag, we want to lay this one out. All right, just like so. As you'll know straight away, you can, this is the back of the Bimini. This is your actual built-in sock. The indicator there too, with our little Five Oceans Marine little sticker at the front, that'll give you an indication that is the front of your Bimini. Now that we've laid our canvas out now, grabbing your main support poles. The indicator for what's front and rear, these ones have a fixed support pole at the rear, which is doing away with the strap, which is great. Any guys have had one before or done any fishing, they're worth their weight in gold. To the rear of the Bimini top with our zipper goes to the back pole. So we'll be laying it out like so, and then grabbing your middle poles, connecting them, and then feeding them through the channels. Alright guys, now that we've got all our poles connected together, we just want to go ahead and feed these through your tube. And you can go ahead and actually start connecting these in too as you go. So as you can see guys, the Bimini's just starting to take shape now. So doing what you did exactly to the front, we do the back. Alright guys, so our next part of our measuring grabbing the Bimini once you've all set it all up. We want to get an idea, just measuring it up on the boat and how it looks too. So just grabbing your tape measure and just marking center of the boat. Point of reference, obviously our seats are further back of the hull. So we want to have perhaps a bit more shade at the back, but pretty well where it is now. Have enough room up there, casting platform, so where it's not getting in the way of obviously flicking a lure or two. But there looks pretty good. It is a two person job on some of the four bow Bimini's because they do have a larger span. That one being a 2.4, obviously it's going to be a Bimini top. So we've marked out roughly where we want to go. All I'm going to take a measurement is from that marker to the back of the boat and do exactly the same on the other side. And that's where we're going to mount our mounting points. All right guys, so the original measurement we've taken from the other side being 1630, not everything goes to plan. Unfortunately, this side doing the exact same measurement is in line with our fuel filler. I'm gonna take this one back just shy of 100 mil. I'm gonna retake that measurement from the other side. It's not gonna make too much difference. It is gonna obviously push the Bimini back, but there is room for us to, to have a little bit more coverage at the back of the boat. All right guys, so we've retaken the measurement from this side of the boat, being 1550 either side. Reason why we do this and have a, a quite an accurate measurement so the Bimini's not twisted when you do go to mount it. All right guys, as you can see, we've got our measurement there. One thing to check too, if you do have wide gunnels, just make sure you're putting your hand up underneath there that's not interference of any wires or leads or fuel lines or rod holders or, or anything like that. We're gonna mount these ones pretty central of the, of the gunnel. So taking that measurement there, we've got our two screws, our thumb screw and our nylon nut, which goes in the back of that mount. Just quickly noting on these mounts too, you can sort of see where it's tapered on the one side. That's to sort of take the shape of the hole and point your mounting bracket inwards. Again, just helping with with installers, not putting unnecessary weight on either side. So doing that, you put the taper side on the out, so the rise on the outside. All right guys, so so far I've just drilled out one hole. I'll go ahead and put our stainless screw in there now. This will help use it as a, a locator for our second hole to drill. Again, just making sure it's quite square with the gunnels, which looks pretty good there. And now we'll go ahead and drill a second hole. Now that we've done our two main mounting points, we want to re-grab the Bimini top, 
fit this now to our mounting points and then we're going to be working on our rear fixture poles. So with our nylon tip, we're just locating that in the center with your thumb screw, putting that through and with our nylon nut at the backs. Now that you've got your two center main support poles fitted, looking on our rear support pole, we've measured this one out to be just before the rod holders. At this stage, it's a one person sort of job now. We've just held the front of the bimini by the straps just on the bow rails there, so it just allows us free hands now to work on this. Same with our measurements. We want to take similar measurements from either side of the hole so it's not twisted again. So marking out where we want to put them, uh, go ahead and put them in now. All right, guys, same we did at the front there, doing exactly the same with our rear support poles. You can go ahead and put this side in now. That'll help, obviously, sit upright so you can work on the other side too. Moving on to our front straps, guys. As you can see at the back, we've just fitted our main support poles. Now, with our strap, we've just shortened this one up. It's unnecessary to have it mounted forward of the hull sort of thing. It's going to obviously impede fishing. So with our saddle and our two stainless steel screws, we go ahead and mount them now. Mounting in terms of the location, anything that's going to impede anything that is by law obviously required. Again, taking consideration what's up underneath your gunnel, mindful of fishing rods and things like that. We're just going to mount these ones closest to just the left side of our anchor light, shortening up that strap and just keeping it nice and tight. All right guys, so once we've got one side attached to your straps now, no need to tighten this on straight up. We'll go ahead and install the other side first and then we'll tighten everything up at the end. All right guys, that's pretty much your bimini top installed. Now, a few little things you might go around and adjust. You'll notice it's longer on the one side. That's quite easy. Just pulling the canvas over to this side, just evening it out. I've just been around the bimini top, tightened and tensioned everything up, squared up our canvas. One of the things I'll quickly show you when in transit, the boat's attached to the back of the car and you're traveling, or whether that be actually out in the bay and you're not necessarily wanting to have the bimini top up. As I mentioned before in the video, it's got an inbuilt sock, so I'll go ahead and clap something in now and show you. Guys, just to quickly note, as I mentioned before, in its transit mode, if you are driving along the highway, doing exceeding speed of sort of around 80 kilometers, we do recommend just undoing your thumb screws, lying it forward or backwards of the hull, whichever rests best, and then just tying it down with some jockey straps there. Again, like if you're underway, out in the bay sort of thing, it speeds of sort of 40, 60 kilometers, not a problem. In transit to you, so generally your local boat room, which we are here today, this would be perfectly fine. <laughs> All right, guys, that's a wrap of our install of our brand new Five Oceans Marine Bimini Top. Overall install was fairly simple. That honestly, between filming, only took us probably about three quarters of an hour to an hour to install. That tricky little bit, obviously, just pre-install measuring it up does take two people. But other than that, it is a pretty simple job. If you've got any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments down below. We'll be doing a couple more in-depth reviews on this particular Bimini top and later today, obviously, when we're taking it out in the bay. If you've liked the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Again, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you in the next video.